Hey guys, it is your favorite chiropractor, Dr. Sharifa Clark, and it is Live Your Life Friday. So before I continue, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, number one. Go ahead and hit the, the notifications and go ahead and subscribe, all right? Today we're talking about journey of faith. That's right, journey of faith. It is Live Your Life Friday. So journey of faith, right? I had made it my mission for my entire life to be a faith-based life. Now, it is a whole lot harder than what it sounds because when you live your life completely based on faith, you really have to literally make moves that in your mind you're saying, I don't know how this will possibly work out the way it's supposed to or wake out how I envision it. You are literally making these moves completely based on the faith that God will allow things to happen how they are supposed to. And it is very hard to do. A lot of people say, oh, I have faith, I have faith. But when it boils down to it, they don't have faith. When it boils down to it, they do their norm. They do what's comfortable. Um, you know, I know people who hate their job that they're in currently. I mean, when I say hate it, I mean hate it with a passion and want to do other things um, or want to, you know, get a job somewhere else. But they are afraid of the security that that particular job have. So they will not move on. So they say they have faith. Well, God will, you know, I have faith that God will work it out. You know what? I, I, God will work it out. But in the same time, they're not even looking for anything else. They're not, they're not even putting any action to their faith. Okay. Because it's one thing to have faith. Okay. But if you don't have action with your faith, I mean, your faith is in consequence. You know what the Bible say? Faith without works is death. Like it don't work. It don't work at all. So about two years ago in 2019 so yes about two years ago or a year and like 10 months ago somewhere around there or about two it's actually about two years ago um and it's actually longer than that but about two years ago it came into my spirit really heavy that i needed a hundred percent change now at that point two years ago the change was more it's, it was it was becoming clear and clear what that change needed to be but I think at that point two years ago I don't think I was actually a hundred percent ready to make that change now it was maybe a few months after that where we bring it to let's say about a year and a half ago when the change that I realized that I needed to make became crystal clear and for me that change was actually uproot in what I knew change everything that I knew about life as it was I had my practice I was also teaching part-time as a professor of anatomy and physiology bio which I mean I was you know I don't want to toot my own horn but I was pretty good I was really good with it I did really well in both areas I was a really great professor I had recently just won professor of the year I had just recently just won an award for uh, my county for um, 100 oh my gosh my mind just went blank but it was an achievement of 100 most outstanding women of Broward County award something of that nature um, and I had just one professor of the year and some other things like right around that time frame of when the shift of me needing to make that change started happening so I, you could say I was a hundred percent comfortable I was in my lane that I knew and I was comfortable in that lane right so now here comes the Lord whispering in my ear about this change and I'm just like uh no I'm, I don't know what you're talking about you know my family is here in Florida you know it's like I was really resistant to it but soon enough it became so strong in my spirit that I had no choice but to be obedient and at that point in time, I said, you know what, God, whatever path you have for my life, whatever direction you want it to take, I am going to have faith and allow you to to um, 
manifest the things that you want in my life. I'm going to allow you to let what you want to happen, happen. And I'm just going to work by faith. And that's what I've been doing. So between then and now, um, I moved roughly about 10 months ago. It'll be a year come July 30, 31st um, that I've made that move. And it's a move, again, it was something crazy. I don't, I don't really know anyone here. My whole family is in Florida. The people who matter the most to me, that's where they are. So it was just a journey of faith. And I am still on that journey because there are more things that God is trying to do in my life, that God wants to do in my life, that as I'm making these different decisions, it is all faith-based. I don't know how things are going to turn out. You know, I know that however it is going to turn out is what God wants to do. You know, I, I said a prayer a while back and the prayer was, in a nutshell, was for God to use my life how he sees fit. And in the process, if he needs to eliminate things out of my life, whether it be physical object, whether it be people, you need to do so. Even if in the moment of that transformation, in the moment of him doing that, if, even if it is going to be something difficult or painful for me, give me the strength to deal with it and get through it and show me that all the things that has happened was because of him. And it has been a slow thing and I've been seeing things and I know that that is God and I'm fine with it. Um, it's just very, very hard to just like completely say, God, this is my life. Go ahead and lead me. People say they do it, but it's you. You're not doing it. OK. And it is hard to do. And I have been doing it. Um, it's been difficult. And I thank God for just allowing me to really exercise this faith. My entire life over the last few years have been a journey of faith. It has been me allowing God to move me in the direction he see fit for him to carry out what he wants to carry out through me. Everything is everything that I'm doing is not about me. It's not what about your fool one. It's not what about. Uh, what's necessarily best for truth is best is what's best for God's kingdom is what's best for what he is trying to do with my life how he is trying to utilize me for me to be the vessel for him and I'm fine with that you know people may not understand when God is using us or when we're on this journey of faith but it's not for them to understand because it's not their journey it's not their life it's not God is not using them in that way so it's not for them to understand now best believe <laughs> When it's all said and done and things really happen and things fall exactly where it needs to fall, then in retrospect, they're going to understand. But unfortunately, at that time, some of those same people who had this, that, and the third to say, they're the ones who's going to be looking at you from afar and won't have no room to touch you or have no room to get close to you, which will be fine because, again, God would have already strategically placed you in a position where he's, I don't want to say he's dropping off the dead weight. But he's allowing you to shed the extra weight or shed people who do not fall in line with the plan he has for your life. God gives us visions. And I've been noticing a lot of visions or things that he has been putting in me to do. Because I have a journal that I keep at my bed at night. And some nights I wake up and I have to write notes, jot down things real quick. Because I'm slumbering, I'm getting this information that's downloaded in my system and in my spirit. And I want y'all to know what I want the message I want y'all to take away for today is when God is putting you on a faith based journey, and when He gives you a vision of things that He wants to accomplish, of things He wants to utilize you to do, remember God will always give you provision for His vision. So yes, the vision that you're getting, it seems like it's something that you want to do. But a lot of times God is downloading that inside of your mind subconsciously while you're resting. Just remember, God will always give you provision for, for his vision. The vision that he has placed in your spirit. The vision that he has placed in your heart in order for you to accomplish and do the things he has called you to do. It might seem difficult, which is going to be. People may not understand, which is fine. It's not meant for them to understand. 
As long as you know that you're doing what God has called you to do and you're not harming anyone in the process, because God is not going to put you in a place where you're harming other people. Let's go ahead and be clear. He is not going to put you in a place that is allowing you to harm someone else. Anything that he puts you in a place to do is going to be for the betterment of other people. And of course, the betterment of his kingdom, as well as the betterment of you. So if you want God, if you want to really be on a faith based journey, you really got to lose yourself. You really got to shed yourself. It's hard to do. And I'm still in the process because I'm not perfect with it because, again, I'm human. But I'm thanking God for these lessons that he has been giving me. I'm thanking God for the information he's been downloaded in my spirit. I'm thanking God for the, the women of God and the men of God that he has placed around me who I could reach out to, who I could get vital information from, who could download into my spirit, especially during the times when I'm feeling stressed, I'm feeling weak. You know, I thank God for it. It is Live Your Life Friday. God has put me on a journey of faith. He has given me vision. He has given me provisions for my vision. And this message is to anyone out there who is on their own journey of faith that God has placed them on and it's very difficult. You're having a rough time. You don't know what to do. You need to take the time to just sit there, become one with God. You need to pray and ask God to center you. Ask God to download into your spirit. Ask God to take away that fear. Take away that fear. Because once God take away that fear, it will allow for your faith to blossom. It is Live Your Life Friday, you guys. And it is Dr. Sharifa Clark. Have a blessed day.